How to make traditional dishes in Nigeria. Have you ever tried Nigerian cuisine? If not, you're missing out on some of the most flavorful and unique dishes in the world. From jollof rice to igasi soup, pounded yam to suya, Nigerian food is a feast for the senses. In this article, we'll take a closer look at four of the most popular dishes in Nigerian cuisine and discover what makes them so special. Main body. Jollof rice. Let's start with the most famous Nigerian dish, jollof rice. This spicy, one-pot dish is a staple in West African cuisine and is enjoyed by millions of people around the world. Made with long grain rice, tomato paste, onions, and a variety of spices, jollof rice is a delicious and filling meal. Some people even argue that it's the best rice dish in the world. But don't take their word for it, try it for yourself. Igasi Soup Next up, we have Igasi Soup. This thick and creamy soup is made with ground melon seeds and a variety of vegetables and spices. It's often served with pounded yam, a starchy side dish made from yam that's been boiled and mashed into a dough-like consistency. The soup has a nutty flavor and is perfect for a cold day or when you're feeling under the weather. Pounded Yam Speaking of pounded yam, this starchy side dish is a must-try for anyone who loves carbs. It's made by boiling yam until it's soft, then pounding it with a mortar and pestle until it's smooth and dough-like. It's usually served with a soup or stew, such as igasi soup, and is a staple in Nigerian cuisine. If you're looking for a filling and satisfying meal, pounded yam is the way to go. Suya Finally, we have suya. This spicy and flavorful street food is made by marinating meat, usually beef or chicken, in a blend of spices, then grilling it over an open flame. It's often served with sliced onions and tomatoes and is a popular snack or meal in Nigeria. The meat is tender and juicy, with a smoky flavor that's sure to please your taste buds. How to make each of the four Nigerian dishes mentioned in the previous text. Jollof Rice Ingredients 2 cups long grain rice 2 cups of water 1 can of tomato paste 1 onion, chopped 2 to 3 cloves garlic, minced 2 tablespoons vegetable oil 2 teaspoons smoked paprika 1 teaspoon dried thyme 1 teaspoon curry powder Salt and pepper to taste Instructions Rinse the rice in cold water and set aside In a large pot Heat the vegetable oil over medium heat. Add the chopped onions and garlic and sauté for 2 to 3 minutes, until fragrant. Add the tomato paste, smoked paprika, thyme, curry powder, salt, and pepper, and stir well to combine. Add the rice and water to the pot and stir to combine. Bring the mixture to a boil, then reduce the heat to low and cover the pot with a tight-fitting lid. Cook the rice for 18 to 20 minutes, or until the rice is tender and the liquid has been absorbed. Fluff the rice with a fork and serve hot. Igasi Soup Ingredients Half cup of ground igasi, melon seeds. Two cups of spinach or pumpkin leaves. Two tablespoons of palm oil. One onion, chopped. 2 to 3 cloves garlic, minced. 2 cups of water or chicken broth. Salt and pepper to taste. Instructions In a large pot, heat the palm oil over medium heat. Add the chopped onions and garlic and sauté for 2 to 3 minutes, until fragrant. Add the ground igasi to the pot and stir well to combine. Add the water or chicken broth and stir well to combine. 
bring the mixture to a boil, then reduce the heat to low and cover the pot with a tight-fitting lid. Cook the soup for 20 to 25 minutes, or until the egacy is tender and the soup has thickened. Add the spinach or pumpkin leaves to the pot and stir well to combine. Cook the soup for an additional 5 to 10 minutes, or until the greens are wilted and tender. Season with salt and pepper to taste and serve hot with pounded yam. Pounded yam. Ingredients. 2 pounds of yam. Water. Salt. Instructions. Peel the yams and cut them into small pieces. Rinse the yam pieces in cold water and place them in a large pot. Add enough water to cover the yams by an inch or two. Bring the pot to a boil, then reduce the heat to low and simmer the yams for 20 to 30 minutes, or until they are tender. Drain the yams and transfer them to a large mortar and pestle. Pound the yams with a pestle until they are smooth and dough-like. Add a pinch of salt to taste. Serve hot with egacy soup or any other soup or stew of your choice. Suya Ingredients 1 pound of beef or chicken, cut into thin strips. Learn about the French Madeleine. Have you ever heard of Madeleines? These petite and delicious French cakes have become a popular treat all around the world. Madeleines are known for their unique shell-shaped design, soft and spongy texture, and buttery flavor. In this article, we will explore the history of Madeleines, how they are made, and why they have become a beloved dessert among foodies worldwide. What are Madeleines? Madeleines are small, shell-shaped cakes that originated in the Lorraine region of France in the 18th century. The cakes are made with a batter that includes flour, sugar, eggs, and melted butter. Typically, Madeleines are flavored with lemon zest or vanilla extract, giving them a light and refreshing taste. Today, Madeleines are a popular dessert all around the world, available in bakeries, cafes, and restaurants. They are often served with a dusting of powdered sugar or a drizzle of glaze, making them a sweet and delightful treat. How are Madeleines made? Making Madeleines is a simple process that requires a few ingredients and some patience. To begin, you will need a madeleine pan, which is a specialized baking pan that features shell-shaped molds. Here is a basic recipe for making madeleines. Ingredients 2 thirds cup of all-purpose flour Half cup of granulated sugar Half teaspoon of baking powder 1 quarter teaspoon of salt 2 eggs Room temperature 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract Half cup of unsalted butter, melted and cooled Powdered sugar, for dusting, optional instructions Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 190 degrees Celsius, and grease a madeleine pan with butter or cooking spray In a medium-sized mixing bowl, whisk together the flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt. In a separate mixing bowl, beat the eggs and vanilla extract with an electric mixer until frothy and pale. Slowly pour in the melted butter while continuing to beat the eggs. Add the dry ingredients to the egg mixture and beat until just combined. Spoon the batter into the madeleine pan filling each mold about three-quarters full. 
bake the madelines for 10 to 12 minutes or until they are lightly golden brown. Remove the madelines from the oven and transfer them to a wire rack to cool. Dust the madelines with powdered sugar if desired. Why are madelines so popular? Madelines have gained a cult following over the years due to their delicious taste and unique appearance. The cake's shell shape and delicate texture make them an elegant addition to any dessert table, and the flavor is light and refreshing. Additionally, madelines have become a popular food trend on social media platforms like Instagram and TikTok. Food bloggers and influencers often feature madelines in their posts, showcasing the cake's beauty and deliciousness to their followers. The history of madelines can be traced back to the 18th century in the Lorraine region of France. The cakes were named after a young girl named Madeline, who was said to have baked them for King Louis XV. Since then, Madelines have become a staple in French cuisine and a beloved dessert around the world. The traditional recipe for madelines includes flour, sugar, eggs, and melted butter. However, there are many variations of this recipe, including chocolate, almond, and citrus flavored madelines. Some bakers also add honey, jam, or spices to the batter for extra flavor. One of the key factors that make madelines stand out is their unique shell shape. To achieve this shape, madelines are baked in a specialized pan that features shell-shaped molds. The pan needs to be greased properly to ensure that the madelines come out easily and maintain their shape. Another factor that makes madelines special is their texture. The cake is soft and spongy on the inside, with a slightly crispy exterior. This texture is achieved by whisking the eggs and sugar together until they are frothy and pale, which creates air pockets in the batter. Madelines are often served with tea or coffee as a snack or dessert. They can be enjoyed warm or at room temperature, and they pair well with a variety of toppings, such as fruit, whipped cream, or chocolate. Although madelines are a classic French dessert, they have become popular in many other countries as well. In Japan, for example, madelines are often given as gifts and are sold in specialty shops. In the United States, Madelines can be found in bakeries and cafes, and they are a popular dessert item on restaurant menus. There are many different ways to enjoy madelines, and they are a versatile dessert that can be adapted to suit different tastes and occasions. Here are a few ideas for how to enjoy madelines. Serve them as a snack or dessert. Madelines are perfect for a quick snack or as a sweet treat after a meal. They are easy to make and can be enjoyed warm or at room temperature. Use them as a base for other desserts. Madelines can be used as a base for other desserts, such as trifle or tiramisu. Simply layer the madelines with whipped cream, fruit, and other ingredients to create a delicious and impressive dessert. Gift them to friends and family. Madelines make a great gift for friends and family. You can package them in a pretty box or bag and give them as a thoughtful and tasty present. Serve them at a party or event. Madelines are a great dessert option for parties or events. They are easy to make in large batches and can be served with a variety of toppings or dips, such as chocolate, fruit, or caramel. Experiment with different flavors, 
while traditional madelines are flavored with lemon zest or vanilla extract, there are many different variations to try. Some popular flavors include chocolate, almond, and lavender. Falka cake, traditional Indian food. Have you ever heard of falka, a traditional Indian dish that has been enjoyed for centuries? Falka is a type of bread that is widely popular in India and is loved by locals and tourists alike. In this article, we'll take a closer look at this delicious dish and explore its history, ingredients, and cultural significance. Falka is a type of unleavened bread that is made from whole wheat flour. It is a staple food in many Indian households and is served with a variety of dishes such as curries, lentils, and vegetables. The bread is cooked over an open flame and puffs up, creating a soft and airy texture. One of the reasons why falka is so popular in India is because it is a healthy alternative to other types of bread. It is low in calories and fat, and high in fiber and essential nutrients. This makes it a great choice for people who are looking to maintain a healthy diet without sacrificing taste. Another reason why falka is so popular is because it is easy to make. All you need is some whole wheat flour, water, and a little bit of salt. You mix the ingredients together, knead the dough, and then roll it out into thin discs. The discs are then cooked on a hot griddle until they puff up and turn golden brown. Falka also has cultural significance in India. It is often served during religious ceremonies and festivals. In some parts of India, it is also served as a symbol of hospitality, and guests are often welcomed with a plate of freshly made falka. Moving beyond its cultural significance, falka is also a dish that brings people together. In India, it is often the center of family gatherings and communal meals. The act of making and sharing falka is a way for families and friends to bond and connect over a mutual love for food. One of the unique aspects of falka is the way it is cooked. The bread is placed directly over an open flame, which causes it to puff up and become light and airy. This method of cooking requires skill and practice, but once mastered, it produces a delicious and satisfying result. If you're interested in trying falka for yourself, there are many ways to enjoy it. You can serve it with a variety of dishes, such as spicy curries or creamy lentils. It also makes a great accompaniment to grilled meats and vegetables. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can even use it as a wrap for sandwiches or tacos. In recent years, Falka has gained popularity outside of India as well. Many restaurants and food trucks now offer this traditional dish as part of their menu, and it has become a favorite among foodies and health enthusiasts alike. One of the unique features of Falka is its texture. The bread is soft and spongy on the inside, while crispy on the outside. This texture is achieved by the way it is cooked over an open flame, which causes the bread to puff up and create a hollow center. This hollow center allows the bread to absorb the flavors of the dishes it is served with, making it a perfect accompaniment to any meal. Falka is also a versatile dish in terms of its shape and size. It can be made into small bite-sized portions or larger discs, depending on the occasion and the dish it is being served with. 
The small bite-sized portions are often served as an appetizer or snack, while the larger discs are used as a main dish. Apart from its health benefits and unique texture, Folka is also an environmentally friendly food choice. It is made from whole wheat flour, which is a sustainable crop that requires less water and fertilizer than other crops. Additionally, since Folka is cooked over an open flame, it does not require electricity or gas, making it an energy-efficient cooking method. In recent years, Folka has gained popularity among health enthusiasts and those looking for gluten-free alternatives to bread. It is a great option for people with gluten sensitivities or celiac disease, as it is made entirely of whole wheat flour and does not contain any gluten. Another fascinating aspect of Folka is the process of making it. It requires a certain level of skill and technique to achieve the desired texture and shape. The dough must be kneaded properly to achieve the right consistency, and the bread must be cooked at the right temperature to ensure that it puffs up properly. This process can be challenging, but it is also rewarding and satisfying to master. In addition to being a delicious bread, Folka also has numerous health benefits. Whole wheat flour is a rich source of fiber, which is essential for maintaining a healthy digestive system. It also contains high levels of vitamins and minerals, such as iron, calcium, and magnesium, which are important for maintaining strong bones and overall health. Folka is also an excellent source of protein thanks to the wheat flour used to make it. Protein is essential for building and repairing tissues in the body, and is especially important for people who lead an active lifestyle or engage in regular exercise. Furthermore, Folka is a low-fat food that is perfect for people who are watching their weight or trying to maintain a healthy diet. Since it is cooked without oil or butter, it is a great alternative to other types of bread that are high in fat and calories. Making Folka is relatively simple, but it requires some practice to get the perfect texture and shape. Here is a basic recipe for making Folka. Ingredients 2 cups whole wheat flour Half a teaspoon salt Water Instructions in a large mixing bowl, combine the whole wheat flour and salt. Slowly add water to the mix, stirring continuously until the dough forms. Knead the dough for 5 to 7 minutes until it becomes smooth and elastic. Let the dough rest for about 15 minutes. Divide the dough into small balls, about the size of a golf ball. Roll out each ball into a thin disc, about 6 to 7 inches in diameter. Discover the traditional dishes of the country Kangaroo. Australia is a country with a rich and diverse culinary tradition. From savory meat pies to sweet lamingtons and pavlova, there are many unique and delicious foods to try in Australia. In this article, we will explore some of the most popular and iconic Australian dishes, including meat pie, Vegemite, Lamingtons, and Pavlova. Meat pie is one of the most well-known Australian foods. It is a savory pie filled with minced meat, gravy, and sometimes vegetables, such as onions and carrots. The pie is typically served with ketchup, and is a staple of Australian cuisine. Meat pies can be found in bakeries and cafes all over Australia, and are often enjoyed as a quick and easy meal on the go. 
Another iconic Australian food is Vegemite. This dark brown spread is made from yeast extract, and is a popular condiment for sandwiches and toast. Vegemite has a salty, savoury flavour that can be an acquired taste for some, but is beloved by many Australians. It is often used as a symbol of Australian culture, and is a staple in many Australian households. Lamingtons are a sweet and indulgent treat that is often served as a dessert or snack. These small sponge cakes are coated in chocolate icing and rolled in coconut flakes. They are a favourite among Australians of all ages, and can be found in bakeries and cafes across the country. Lamingtons are often served at special occasions such as birthdays, weddings, and holidays. Pavlova is a light and airy dessert that is made from meringue and topped with whipped cream and fresh fruit. It is named after the Russian ballerina Anna Pavlova, who toured Australia and New Zealand in the 1920s. Pavlova is a popular dessert in both countries, but its origins are a subject of debate. Regardless of its origins, Pavlova is a beloved dessert in Australia, and is often served at special occasions and celebrations. Meat pie, Vegemite, Lamingtons, and Pavlova are just a few examples of the many unique and delicious foods that can be found in Australia. The country's diverse culinary tradition is influenced by a variety of factors, including its British colonial heritage, its proximity to Asia, and its abundant natural resources. In addition to these iconic dishes, there are many other Australian foods that are worth exploring. For example, barramundi is a popular fish that is native to Australia, and is often served in restaurants and cafes. It is a versatile fish that can be grilled, baked, or fried, and is known for its firm texture and mild flavour. Another unique Australian food is kangaroo meat. While not as commonly consumed as beef or chicken, kangaroo meat is a lean and healthy alternative that is high in protein and low in fat. It is often used in dishes such as burgers, sausages, and stir-fries, and can be found in specialty meat shops and supermarkets. In recent years, Australian cuisine has also embraced a more health-conscious approach, with a focus on fresh, locally sourced ingredients and innovative cooking techniques. This trend has given rise to a new wave of Australian cuisine that emphasizes healthy, flavorful dishes that are both delicious and nutritious. One example of this trend is the Buddha bowl, a popular dish that typically consists of a bed of grains or greens topped with a variety of colorful vegetables, proteins, and sauces. Buddha bowls are often vegan or vegetarian, and are a healthy and satisfying meal option that can be customized to suit individual tastes and preferences. Another example of this trend is the use of native Australian ingredients in cooking. Australia is home to a wide variety of unique and flavorful ingredients, including finger limes, wattle seed, and lemon myrtle. These ingredients are increasingly being used by top chefs in Australia to create innovative and delicious dishes that showcase the country's rich culinary heritage. In addition to these trends, Australian cuisine is also influenced by the country's vast and diverse landscape, which ranges from tropical rainforests to arid deserts. This diversity is reflected in the country's cuisine, with each region offering its own unique flavors and culinary traditions. For example, 
the coastal regions of Australia are known for their fresh seafood, while the outback is home to hearty meat dishes such as slow-cooked lamb and kangaroo stew. The wine regions of Australia, such as the Barossa Valley and Margaret River, are also famous for their world-class wines and gourmet food experiences. Here are some basic recipes for making some of the popular Australian desserts mentioned earlier. Lamingtons Ingredients 1 and a half cups all-purpose flour 2 teaspoons baking powder Half cup unsalted butter, at room temperature 1 cup white sugar 2 large eggs Half cup milk 1 teaspoon vanilla extract 3 cups shredded coconut 1 third cup cocoa powder Half cup boiling water 2 cups powdered sugar 1 quarter cup milk 1 tablespoon unsalted butter, melted Instructions Preheat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit 175 degrees Celsius. Grease and flour a 9 by 13 inch baking pan. In a medium bowl, whisk together the flour and baking powder. In a large bowl, cream together the butter and sugar until light and fluffy. Add in the eggs one at a time, beating well after each addition. Stir in the milk and vanilla extract. Add the flour mixture to the butter mixture and stir until just combined. Pour the batter into the prepared pan and bake for 30 to 35 minutes, or until a toothpick inserted into the center of the cake comes out clean. Let the cake cool completely, then cut into squares. To make the chocolate icing, whisk together the cocoa powder and boiling water until smooth. Add in the powdered sugar, milk, and melted butter, and whisk until well combined. Dip each square of cake into the chocolate icing. Then roll in shredded coconut until fully coated. Let the lamington sit for a few minutes, then serve and enjoy. Pavlova Ingredients 4 large egg whites, at room temperature 1 cup white sugar 1 teaspoon white vinegar 1 teaspoon vanilla extract 2 teaspoons cornstarch 1 cup heavy cream 1 cup sliced fresh fruit, such as strawberries, kiwi, and mango instructions Preheat oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, 150 degrees Celsius How to make delicious sandwiches at home Sandwiches are a popular and convenient meal option that can be enjoyed any time of day. Whether you're looking for a quick and easy lunch or a satisfying dinner, sandwiches are a great choice. In this article, we will share some tips and tricks for making delicious sandwiches at home. Choose the right bread. The first step in making a delicious sandwich is to choose the right bread. There are many different types of bread to choose from, including white, whole wheat, rye, and sourdough. Consider the flavor and texture of the bread when selecting it for your sandwich. For example, a hearty wheat bread is a good choice for a sandwich with a lot of fillings, while a lighter white bread is better for a simple sandwich. Toasting the bread can also add extra flavor and texture to your sandwich. Select your fillings. The next step is to select your fillings. The options are endless, from classic combinations like ham and cheese or turkey and avocado, to more unique combinations like grilled vegetables and hummus. 
Consider the flavors and textures of the fillings, and try to create a balance between savory and sweet, soft and crunchy, and hot and cold ingredients. Add some sauce. Sauces and spreads can add extra flavor and moisture to your sandwich. Some popular options include mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup, pesto, and hummus. Experiment with different combinations of sauces and spreads to find the perfect flavor for your sandwich. Build your sandwich. Once you have selected your bread, fillings, and sauces, it's time to build your sandwich. Start with a layer of sauce or spread on one side of the bread, then add your fillings on top. Be sure to layer the ingredients evenly, and avoid overstuffing the sandwich, as this can make it difficult to eat. Cut and serve. Once you have assembled your sandwich, it's time to cut and serve it. Use a sharp knife to cut the sandwich in half, or into smaller pieces if desired. Then, serve the sandwich with your favorite side dish, such as chips, fruit, or a side salad. Tips for perfect sandwiches. Here are some additional tips to help you make the perfect sandwich. Use fresh ingredients. Fresh ingredients will give your sandwich the best flavor and texture. Choose high-quality meats, cheese, and vegetables, and avoid using ingredients that are past their prime. Layer your ingredients. Layering your ingredients will help to distribute the flavors evenly throughout the sandwich. Start with a layer of sauce or spread, then add your meat, cheese, and vegetables in a specific order. Cut your ingredients into uniform sizes. Cutting your ingredients into uniform sizes will make it easier to assemble the sandwich and ensure that each bite has a good balance of flavors and textures. Use the right amount of sauce. Adding too much sauce can make your sandwich soggy, while adding too little can make it dry. Use just enough sauce to add flavor and moisture to the sandwich, but not so much that it becomes messy to eat. Press your sandwich. Pressing your sandwich can help to meld the flavors together and create a more cohesive sandwich. You can use a panini press or a heavy skillet to press the sandwich, or wrap it tightly in plastic wrap and let it sit for a few minutes. By following these tips, you can create a delicious and satisfying sandwich that is perfect for any occasion. So why not try making your own sandwich at home today? With a little creativity and some fresh ingredients, you can create a sandwich that is uniquely yours and truly delicious. Creative Sandwich Ideas If you're looking to shake up your sandwich game, here are some creative sandwich ideas to try. Grilled cheese with apple and bacon, spread mayonnaise on the outside of two slices of bread, then layer cheddar cheese, thinly sliced apple, and cooked bacon inside. Grill the sandwich until the cheese is melted and the bread is golden brown. Caprese Sandwich, layer fresh mozzarella, tomato slices, and fresh basil leaves on a baguette or ciabatta roll. Drizzle with balsamic vinegar and olive oil and season with salt and pepper. Peanut butter and jelly with banana, spread peanut butter on one slice of bread, and jelly on the other. Slice a banana and add it to the sandwich before closing it up. Tuna salad with avocado, mix canned tuna, Diced avocado, chopped celery, and mayonnaise in a bowl. Spread the mixture onto a whole wheat wrap or sandwich bread, and add lettuce or spinach leaves. Roast beef and horseradish, spread horseradish sauce on a baguette or ciabatta roll, then layer thinly sliced roast beef and arugula leaves. Falafel sandwich, stuff a pita or wrap with falafel balls, hummus, chopped tomatoes, cucumbers, and lettuce. Drizzle with tahini sauce. These are just a few examples of the many creative sandwich ideas out there. Don't be afraid to experiment with different flavors and ingredients to create a sandwich that is uniquely yours. With a little creativity and some fresh ingredients, the possibilities are endless. 
Healthy Sandwich Options If you're looking for healthier sandwich options, here are some ideas to try. Veggie Sandwich Layer sliced cucumbers, tomatoes, avocado, sprouts, and lettuce on whole grain bread. Spread hummus or mashed avocado on the bread for added flavor. Grilled chicken wrap, grill a chicken breast and slice it thinly. Wrap it in a whole wheat tortilla with lettuce, sliced tomato, and a smear of mustard. Turkey and cranberry sandwich, use sliced turkey breast as the base of the sandwich, and add cranberry sauce and lettuce on top. Serve on whole grain bread or a whole wheat wrap. Tuna and vegetable salad, mix canned tuna with diced celery, onion, and red pepper. Add some lemon juice and a little bit of olive oil for flavor. Serve on a bed of spinach or use as a sandwich filling. Egg salad, mix hard-boiled eggs with a little bit of mayonnaise, chopped celery, and green onions. Serve on whole grain bread or a bed of lettuce. Greek salad wrap, fill a whole wheat wrap with chopped cucumber, tomato, red onion, feta cheese, and olives. Explore Mauritian cuisine, dal pori, bean bread, rougeau, ketchup. Mind frit, chips, samosas, fried pies Mauritian cuisine, dal pori, rougeau, mind frit, and samosas. Mauritian cuisine is a fusion of Indian, African, Chinese, and European influences. The island's rich history and cultural diversity are reflected in its flavorful and diverse dishes. In this article, we will explore four popular Mauritian dishes, dal pori, rouge ale, mine frite, and samosas. Dal pori Dal pori is a popular street food in Mauritius. It is a type of flatbread made from ground split peas and flour which is then filled with a spicy mixture of cooked yellow split peas and served with a side of rouge ale sauce. The dough is rolled out into thin circles and cooked on a griddle until it's crispy and slightly charred. Dal puri is best enjoyed fresh and hot, straight off the griddle. Rouge ale Rouge ale is a tomato-based sauce that is used as a condiment in many Mauritian dishes. It is made by sautéing onions and garlic in oil, then adding diced tomatoes, tomato paste, and a blend of spices. The mixture is simmered until thick and rich in flavor. Rouge ale is typically served alongside dal puri and other street foods, but it can also be used as a sauce for meat, fish, or vegetables. Mine frite Mine frite is a popular side dish in Mauritius, similar to French fries. It is made by cutting potatoes into thin strips and frying them until crispy and golden brown. Mine frite is often seasoned with salt and other spices like cumin, coriander, or chili powder. It is typically served as a side dish with grilled meats or sandwiches. Samosas Samosas are a popular snack in Mauritius, influenced by Indian cuisine. They are small, triangular pastries filled with a spicy mixture of vegetables or meat, and then deep fried until crispy and golden brown. Samosas can be found in street stalls and restaurants all over the island, and are often served with a sweet and tangy tamarind chutney. In conclusion, Mauritian cuisine is a unique blend of flavors and influences from around the world. Dal pori, rouge ale, mine frite, and samosas are just a few examples of the many delicious and diverse dishes that can be found on the island. If you ever have the opportunity to visit Mauritius, 
be sure to try these iconic dishes for a taste of the island's rich culinary heritage. Mauritian cuisine, gâteau piment, boulette, roti show, and fish vinde. Mauritian cuisine is a delicious blend of Indian, African, Chinese, and European influences. In this article, we will explore four more popular Mauritian dishes, gâteau piment, boulette, roti show, and fish vinde. Gâteau piment Gâteau piment, or chili cakes in English, are bite-sized snacks that are popular in Mauritius. They are made with split peas, chili, and spices, which are ground together into a paste and formed into small balls. The balls are then deep fried until crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. Gâteau piment are often eaten as a snack or appetizer, and are typically served with rouge ale sauce. Boulette Boulette are small, steamed dumplings that are often served as a snack or appetizer in Mauritius. They are made with ground meat, usually pork or chicken, onions, garlic, and spices, which are formed into small balls and then steamed until cooked through. Boulette are typically served with a spicy dipping sauce and are a favorite food of Mauritians. Roti show. Roti show is a type of Indian flatbread that is popular in Mauritius. It is made with flour, water, and oil which are kneaded together to form a dough. The dough is then rolled out into thin circles and cooked on a griddle until it's slightly charred and bubbly. Roti show is often served with curries, chutneys, or other savory dishes. Fish vinde Fish vinde is a traditional Mauritian dish that is made with fish, usually mackerel or tuna, that is marinated in a mixture of vinegar, turmeric, mustard seeds, and other spices. The fish is then fried until crispy and golden brown. Fish vinde is typically served with rice, lentils, or other sides, and is a popular dish for special occasions. In conclusion, Mauritian cuisine is a delicious blend of flavors and influences from around the world. Gâteau piment, boulette, roti show, and fish vinde are just a few examples of the many delicious and diverse dishes that can be found on the island. If you ever have the opportunity to visit Mauritius, be sure to try these iconic dishes for a taste of the island's rich culinary heritage. Mauritian cuisine, octopus curry, farada, daub, and alauda. Mauritian cuisine is a fusion of Indian, African, Chinese, and European influences. In this article, we will explore four more popular Mauritian dishes, octopus curry, farada, daub, and alauda. Octopus curry Octopus curry is a popular dish in Mauritius, especially along the coastal regions. It is made with tenderized octopus that is simmered in a flavorful curry sauce made with spices, onions, garlic, tomatoes, and coconut milk. The dish is often served with rice, roti, or farada, and is a favorite of seafood lovers. Farada Farada is a type of Indian flatbread that is popular in Mauritius. It is similar to roti show but is made with a different dough and is typically served with curries or other savory dishes. Farada is made with flour, water, and oil, which are kneaded together to form a dough. The dough is then rolled out into thin circles and cooked on a griddle until it's slightly charred and bubbly. Daub Daub is a traditional French stew that has been adapted to the Mauritian palate. 
It is made with beef or lamb, which is marinated in red wine and spices, then slow cooked with onions, garlic, and vegetables until tender. Daub is typically served with rice, potatoes, or other sides, and is a comforting and hearty dish that is perfect for chilly evenings. Alauda Alauda is a popular Mauritian drink that is made with milk, basil seeds, agar agar jelly, and syrup. It is similar to a milkshake but has a unique texture and flavor. The drink is often served in plastic cups with a straw and is a refreshing treat on hot summer days. In conclusion, Mauritian cuisine is a delicious blend of flavors and influences from around the world. Octopus curry, farada, daub, and alauda are just a few examples of the many delicious and diverse dishes that can be found on the island. If you ever have the opportunity to visit Mauritius, be sure to try these iconic dishes for a taste of the island's rich culinary heritage. Mauritian cuisine, gâteau patat, dal puri platter, bowl rinverse, and phoenix beer. Mauritian cuisine is a unique blend of Indian, African, Chinese, and European influences. Discover Liberian cuisine and how to make traditional dishes jollof rice, steamed rice, fufu, whipped tapioca, potato greens, potato leaf soup, pepper soup, spicy soup Liberian cuisine, jollof rice, fufu, potato greens, and pepper soup. Liberian cuisine is a delicious blend of West African and European influences. The country's rich history and diverse cultures are reflected in its flavorful and diverse dishes. In this article, we will explore four popular Liberian dishes, jollof rice, fufu, potato greens, and pepper soup. Jollof rice Jollof rice is a popular dish in Liberia and other West African countries. It is a one-pot rice dish that is cooked with tomatoes, onions, and a blend of spices, including ginger, garlic, and chili pepper. The dish is often served with chicken or fish, and is a staple at special events and celebrations. Fufu Fufu is a starchy side dish that is made from cassava, yams, or plantains. The root vegetables are boiled, mashed, and formed into a dough-like consistency which is then rolled into small balls. Fufu is often served with a soup or stew, and is eaten by pinching off a small piece with your fingers and using it to scoop up the soup. Potato Greens Potato greens is a popular dish in Liberia, made with the leaves of the sweet potato plant. The leaves are chopped and cooked with onions, garlic, and smoked meat or fish until tender. The dish is often served with rice or fufu, and is a favorite among Liberians for its rich and savory taste. Pepper Soup Pepper soup is a spicy soup that is made with a variety of meats, including chicken, beef, or fish. The soup is flavored with a blend of spices, including ginger, garlic, and chili pepper, and is often served with fufu or rice. Pepper soup is a popular comfort food in Liberia, and is believed to have medicinal properties that can help alleviate cold and flu symptoms. In conclusion, Liberian cuisine is a delicious and diverse blend of flavors and influences from around the world. Jollof rice, fufu, potato greens, and pepper soup are just a few examples of the many delicious and unique dishes that can be found in the country. If you ever have the opportunity to visit Liberia, be sure to try these iconic dishes for a taste of the country's rich culinary heritage. Liberian cuisine is a rich blend of different flavors and influences from around the world. In this article, 
we will explore four more popular Liberian dishes, Liberian cassava leaf soup, chop, palava sauce, and ginger beer. Liberian cassava leaf soup Liberian cassava leaf soup is a popular dish in Liberia, made with the leaves of the cassava plant. The leaves are chopped and cooked with palm oil, onions, garlic, and a blend of spices until tender. The soup is often served with rice or fufu, and is a favorite among Liberians for its rich and hearty flavor. Chop Chop is a Liberian street food that is similar to kebabs. It is made with small pieces of seasoned meat or fish that are skewered and grilled over an open flame. Chop is often served with a spicy pepper sauce or a side of fried plantains, and is a popular snack or quick meal for people on the go. Palava sauce Palava sauce is a popular dish in Liberia, made with a blend of meats, vegetables, and spices. The dish can be made with chicken, fish, or beef, and is flavored with a blend of greens, including spinach, kale, or collard greens. The sauce is often served with rice or fufu, and is a comforting and flavorful meal that is perfect for chilly evenings. Ginger beer Ginger beer is a popular drink in Liberia, made with fresh ginger root, sugar, and water. The ingredients are boiled together and then fermented for a few days until the drink has a slightly fizzy texture. Ginger beer is often served with ice and is a refreshing and spicy drink that is perfect for hot and humid days. Liberian cuisine is a delicious and diverse blend of flavors and influences from around the world. Liberian cassava leaf soup, chop, palava sauce, and ginger beer are just a few examples of the many delicious and unique dishes and drinks that can be found in the country. If you ever have the opportunity to visit Liberia, be sure to try these iconic dishes and drinks for a taste of the country's rich culinary heritage. Let me provide you with brief instructions on how to make the four Liberian dishes. Liberian Cassava Leaf Soup Ingredients 2 pounds cassava leaves, washed and finely chopped. 2 pounds meat, chicken, beef, or goat. 1 onion, chopped. 1 tablespoon palm oil. 2 tablespoons peanut butter. 2 cups water. Salt and pepper to taste. Instructions In a large pot, heat the palm oil over medium-high heat. Add the chopped onions and sauté for about 3 minutes, until onions are translucent. Add the meat and cook until browned. Add the chopped cassava leaves and stir well. Add the water, cover the pot, and simmer for 1 hour. Add the peanut butter and stir well. Simmer for an additional 30 minutes. Season with salt and pepper to taste. Serve hot with rice or fufu. Chop. Ingredients. 1 pound meat, beef or chicken 1 onion, chopped. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 teaspoon ginger, grated. 1 teaspoon paprika. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 teaspoon black pepper. 1 tablespoon oil. Skewers. Instructions. Cut the meat into small cubes. In a bowl, mix together the onion, garlic, ginger, paprika, salt, pepper, and oil. Add the meat to the bowl and toss to coat. Thread the meat onto skewers. Grill the skewers on a hot grill or grill pan until cooked through, about 5 to 7 minutes per side. Serve hot with a side of spicy pepper sauce or fried plantains. Palava sauce Ingredients 1 pound meat, chicken, beef, or fish, 
2 cups chopped greens, spinach, kale, or collard greens 1 onion, chopped. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 teaspoon ginger, grated. 1 teaspoon paprika. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 teaspoon black pepper. 2 cups chicken or beef broth. 1 tablespoon oil. Instructions. In a large pot, heat the oil over medium-high heat. 